coming up next. Baseball from the Lone Star State. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Seattle Mariners going up against the Expos. John Shabby and Chris Singleton with you. And singing the big bat in the lineup so far this year, Stefan Sanguian. Always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. Just about set to go. And on the hill in this one, Pedro Martinez. What's the word on him? Well, he got into the eighth inning his last time out, really pitching deep in the games as of late. We'll see today how many innings he's got in him. All right, ready to get underway. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. Leading off tonight for Seattle, the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. The wind of the pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Walker gliding back and makes the grab. And there's one down. And now we check out the Mariners lineup. And one of the most exciting young stars in the sport, Ichiro Suzuki. You know, he's a rarity, Boog. A guy who can really light it up on the road for some reason. Some guys struggle away from their home ballpark. But this guy's better than 350 when he's away from his home ballpark. So I'm looking for him to be a real catalyst in this game today. I mean, they're going to need him to be at his best because most guys just don't consistently perform well at that level away from home. Ken Griffey Jr. stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. And he deals. That misses the zone. Ball one. No score just getting started. Top of the first. And a swing and a miss. And there's two down. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels. And then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. So up next, Ichiro Suzuki. And first offering is fouled off. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. In the air, left field. Can't get there. Should be extra bases. And he's got a double. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. He really let that ball travel on the outside part of the plate, but that's a great example that you can still drive the baseball that's away. Rip that one down the line for the double. So here's the cleanup hitter, A. Eugenio Suarez. And Boog, I'd say he's due. 
And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. The oh. next pitch misses. Now 2-0. Oh. No, no. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Next offering is in for a strike. That one hit to right. And that is that. One left for Seattle. We'll go to the bottom of the first. 0-0. Zero, zero. So I ain't saving you a cleaner house. Think that's just a statement, then you loot a Chris like it's word of mouth. I ain't new to what we go to the bottom of the first, and stepping in is the speedy Rodney Scott. And the pitch. There's the strike. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Oh, and two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One away. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it can take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. Stepping in the long ball threat, Stefan Sanguian, and it's fouled away. And he'll one. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. At the belt and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. There's a swing and a drive. That one back there. And gone! He'll circle the bases. Home run number 10 of the year. And they jump out front. It's 1-0. translated into the ball game now Larry Walker this guy has turned into a beast first offering in the dirt the one up that one down the line Steps on first for the out. Take a look at the lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Next pitch has popped up. Suarez racing over to make the catch. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's an early 1-0 lead. Top of 
of the second at stepping in for the Mariners, Ty France. Leading off for the Mariners, the first baseman, number 23, Ty France. The pitch. Late swing, fouled off. Righty delivers. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Fletcher makes the catch, and there's one down. That exists. The left fielder, Jesse Winker. Here's Jesse Winker. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. And down on strikes. Two up, two down in the top of the second. This is Kyle Lewis. The designated hitter. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. On the ground right side, and he can't come up with it. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Mariners are down in order. They trail here, one nothing. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the second. Here's the veteran outfielder, Vladimir Guerrero. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. And here's the rookie catcher, Darren Fletcher. In there, and it's 0-1. And a pitch. Foul ball there. Left-hand batter waits, and down on strikes he goes, two down. Just a hammer, 12-6 curveball right there, Boog. That was exactly what he wanted to do with it. Not a ton of pitchers can throw a true 12-6 break, but he does, and you can't throw it any better than he did right there. Two outs, base is empty. Larry Parrish now at the plate. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. Oh. The lefty to 1-0. Oh. Out to short, base hit. Two out, base hit, keeps the inning alive. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed.
Lou Frazier digs in now. First oh. offering misses the mark. And the 1 0. Bounced out to short. And that is that. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. These days, people say a lot of things that they want to do. Things that they want to. Man, what you gonna do? What you gonna do, man? What you gonna do? Out of the third inning, and now for Seattle, Adam Frazier. Leading off with the Mariners, the second baseman. Adam. Martinez back to work. There's a strike. No ball. One strike. And the righty deals. Strike two. Absolutely frozen on that heater right down the middle, and that's a pitch you're just not getting back. Now he's in a tough spot, especially after falling behind on a good first pitch. Stays alive. Hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Righty to the plate. Going to count one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One up, one down. So here's Murphy now. The catcher, number two, Tom Murphy. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. The punch out there, two down. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. So the lineup flips over. Here's the shortstop at the play, J.P. Crawford. Yeah, the first oh, offering is not close. One ball, no strike. Pop up here, third base side. And that'll do it. Nobody left for Seattle. They still trail one nothing. And welcome back. And now the first baseman, Cliff Floyd. The first baseman. Here comes a pitch. There's a strike. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And that gets down into the gap. Not stopping. He's going for three. In there safely. 
He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Man, I love the hustle out of the box right there to make that triple happen. And just an absolute laser into the opposite field gap. He was digging hard the entire way. Back to the top of the lineup, and now it's the switch inning second baseman, Rodney Scott. Struck out swinging, leading off the bottom of the first. Popped up. Frazier right there to make the grab, and there's one down. So digging in, Stefan St. Guillen. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. First pitch, and he just misses. With a six-run lead, you, you've got to attack guys and go right after them. And now the lefty. And fouled off. The pitch. And a count one and two. Run around at third, one gone. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And here it comes. Stays alive. The one, two. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. And it beats him for out number two. That's a strikeout. Now it's going to be Larry Walker. Rounded out his first time. Swing and a bouncer. Throw not in time, and he's safe. Well done. Drives in the run. Didn't exactly barrel the baseball there, but he stayed on it, and he stayed through it well enough. Punts it the other way for the base hit. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. So two down, and now it's going to be Gary Carter. Good contact got to first, and they've got him picked off. The tag, and they got him, and that'll do it. Three innings complete. The Expos out front, two to nothing. As we go to the top of the fourth, and now the center fielder, Ken Griffey Jr. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense, and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. Next offering is down low, and that's ball one. The 1-0. -oh. That pitch in for a strike. That's strike one. Griffey was an instant sensation when he burst onto the major league scene back in 1989. A sweet swinging 19-year-old kid, and he got to play alongside his dad. He was a special player. Fouled off. He was late. One and two now. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same now page right now. Right fielder, Ichiro Suzuki.
So up next, Ichiro Suzuki. One down, base is empty. Oh. Yeah, there's the strike. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Wind in the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Back to back strikeouts. Well, he just had no answer for that hard inside fastball right there. Just blew it by him. And not every pitcher likes working inside, especially with two strikes. They don't want to hit a batter and waste an opportunity to put him away. But if you can locate that fastball just like he did, most hitters aren't looking for it, and it becomes very difficult to get a piece of. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. And a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Fought off foul. Well, I've noticed they've been pitching him hard inside, and the key is if you're going to make a mistake, you've got to make it off the dish. If it leaks out over the plate with this kind of power, you'll be asking for a new baseball. Two down, nobody on. Pitch misses, and the count one and two. He strikes out the side. Mariners go down quietly there. They trail things here to nothing. Bottom of the inning. Here's a big power threat. Gary Carter. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And a pitch. Good eye right there. The pitch. Line drive, caught! The center field, number 27, Vladimir. Here's the center fielder, Vladimir Guerrero. He's got a nice, short, compact swing. Doesn't swing and miss a whole lot. That one's in there, 0-1. pitch good eye right there kicks and deals foul ball the one two
Got him. Two gone. And here's the catcher, Darren Fletcher. Very good hitting catcher. He has become an all-star type of player. First offering, and it just misses. Next pitch misses, and now 2-0. Left field, Winker on the move towards foul ground. And that one hops the wall. Safely into second, he's got a double. Man at second here with two away. Here's the third baseman, Larry Parrish. The third baseman, Larry Parrish. On the ground to the left. Out number three. Ready now for the fifth inning and stepping in for the Mariners, Ty France. Leading off for the Mariners, the first baseman, number 23, Ty France. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Hater deals and a foul ball he stays alive that fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective just got to keep it on the corners right hander kicks deals and a swing and a miss and that's the first out well oh, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate two strikes the sort of pitch you're hoping for a bit of a mistake and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. So digging in, Jesse Winker. First offering misses badly for ball one. Line of the pitch. And that one fouled off. And he deals. So now one and two. The pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there are two outs. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. It doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Kyle Lewis up next for the Mariners. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Wait, 
And that one fouled off. Looking sharp, just a strike away from five shutout innings. Deal two. And ball one. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. And one, two, three, go the Mariners. They trail it here, two nothing. From the mud, I'm talking about the floor from a city where it's wicked. Most people scared to come. Welcome back. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Lou Frazier. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And a pitch. There's a strike. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball is going to get down. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground, he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. He's been swinging it really well lately. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Stepping in, Cliff Floyd. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The pitch. That's hard hit on the line. Balls it in, and there's one away. Number three, second baseman. So the batting order turns over. Here's a speed threat, Rodney Scott. That one pushed foul. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. The pitch. Bunts it towards the mound. Gathers and throws to first. And that's an out on the sacrifice. Stefan Sanguian will hit next. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing and thunder in that bat. This one blasted deep to left, way out of here, home run. Second home run of the game, and they had a pair. It's 4 nothing. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Two away with nobody on. Next to hit, Larry Walker. Right One for two. Larry in there for strike one. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Left-hand hitter waits. Ball one there. 
One and two. They say you win. Fires over to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a four-nothing ball game. Back here at the ballpark, here's the second baseman, Adam Frazier. The, the M's in striking distance, but have some work Adam. to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Martinez, back to work. Ball oh. one, no strikes. What a no. Now to short. Over to first, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. The catcher, number two. Oh. Now it's Tom Murphy. In there, and it's 0 1. Well, in an 0 0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. Hold it one now. And a foul ball. Andy 2 And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. That's the second out. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. J.P. Crawford. Back to the top of the Seattle order. Here's the Seattle leadoff man, J.P. Crawford. In the air to left center, and that's a base hit. And that extends the inning. And that knock bumps his hitting streak into double digits, Chris. He's hitting 10 straight. Yeah, and on a nice trajectory, average going up, OBP, everything he's doing at the plate right now just seems to be working. So two down now, and here is Ken Griffey Jr. Ground ball up the middle, and that's a base hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on, and two out. Up next for Seattle, the right fielder. And up next for Seattle, Ichiro Suzuki. That one's in there on one. Crawford on second. Junior at first, two out of the inning. That one fouled off. The 0-2. And there's a foul ball. Two outs. And that one wrapped foul. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. Now fly ball to right center. Guerrero going back on this one. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. As a run scores. Well, everyone is thinking it. Would the runner have scored from first if the ball stayed in the park? We'll never know, but... They do get a run across with a chance to do more damage in the inning. And Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Pitch misses inside. 1-0. and 
Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. The next offering misses. Yeah, that's ball two. And the righty deals. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. The 2 1. Pitch is in for a strike, and that is strike two. Here's the 2 2. Got him. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. On to the bottom of inning number six. The Expos with the lead in this one, four to one. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Andres Munoz. It's his job to keep his team in the game. So at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Bottom of the sixth inning, and now the DH, Gary Carter. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. As a hitter, I'll take that all day long. An off-speed pitch, it's not going to rattle your cage too much. And now, Vladimir Guerrero. And that's in there for strike one. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Runner at first with no outs here. Next one misses. And it's a ball to strike. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Drew Steckenrider up and loosening in the pen. Swanson warming up as well. Nope. Next one is off the plate. Two and one. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Righty delivers. Back-to-back -back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full. Grounder into the outfield for a knock. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day and a nice job of turning that one around. Darren Fletcher, the next to hit. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Ripped on a line to center. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there's one down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. So up next, Larry Parrish. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Man, I mean... Nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Hammer, base hit. 
Carter coming home. He's in there. Picks himself up in RBI. He put a great swing on that ball. Took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. Now the left fielder, Lou Frazier. The left fielder, number seven, Lou Frazier. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Guerrero at third, Parrish over at first with one away. That smash towards center. Two away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. So digging in, Cliff Floyd. First offering misses the mark. Two on, two outs. That one out to right. Suzuki raging back towards the wall. That is the inning. We're through six full. The Expos on top here, five to one. Top of inning number seven, and now for Seattle, Ty France. The Mariners, the first baseman, number 23, Ty France. The wind of the pitch. That's a strike. Boog, that hook's looking pretty sharp today. Just a solid pitching performance so far, and I really think it's because of that curveball. And it's fouled away. Righty to the plate. In the air, left field. Frazier on the move as he glides back. Makes the catch for the out. Up next for Seattle, the left fielder, Jesse. So up next, Winker. Jesse Winker. Swings through that oh, one. 0-1. Oh, and one. And he'll one. And a foul ball. Going oh, two now. Base knock center field. Could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a double. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. And now Kyle Lewis. First pitch and he just misses. There's a swing and a miss. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle. But I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. And here it comes.
And a foul ball. One out and a runner at second. Next offering misses, and the count's full. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And there are two down. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Here's Adam Frazier. Next pitch downstairs. Ball one. Man at second. Fouled off. He was late. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Stays alive. Winker at second with two down. Strikes. That's the third out. Mariners lead one. They're down 5 1. So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, Eric Swanson. This is his fifth appearance of the year. Eric Swanson. Bottom of the seventh, and stepping in is the speedy Rodney Scott. The second baseman. And a pitch. Scott. That's in there. That's strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. And that one almost got him. Straightened him up a little bit. Here comes a pitch. Up the middle. Crawford throws the first in time. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Do you still Now at the plate, Stefan Sanguian. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. First pitch, just misses. On the ground, right side. France gets it to first. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Larry Walker, for the fourth time tonight. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. In there for strike one. Left-hand batter waits. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. I'm in my zone now. Money don't slow down. I'm grown now. 
And welcome back. We go to the eighth. Now the Mariners catcher, Tom Murphy. The catcher, number two, Tom Murphy. The wind and the pitch. Sinker gets the bottom of the zone, and that's a strike. Swings through that one for strike two. So impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. The pitch. Swing and a slow roller. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. And here is J.P. Crawford, one for three. First offering, and it just misses. And it's one and one. One and one. Kicks and deals. Right side. Floyd takes it to the bag. Two up, two down here at the top of the eight. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Two outs, base is empty. And stepping in for the Mariners, Ken Griffey Jr. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. Kicks and fires. And a strike in there. Man, he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. Next oh. offering in the dirt. One and two the count. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. That's out number three. Nobody left for Seattle. They're down here five to one. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's some real power at the plate. Gary Carter. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. And the right hander back to work. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. All impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, then you can play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. Hard hit left side. Hoops it. But the throw to first gets him easily. And that's the first out. And now the center fielder, Vladimir Guerrero. In the air, foul off first. France makes the play, and there's two away. Now batting, catcher, Darren Fletcher. Here's the power hitting catcher, Darren Fletcher. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. Next offering is down low. 
And that's ball one. It's so impressive because these guys have to do so much study and preparation for their pitchers, for opposing hitters, and really... It's in and out of his glove. But in time, nice job to stay with it to end the inning. Sorry if I messed our hip hop material. Sorry if I'm selling and take a miracle when my dreams have come true because it's set to. Welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now for Seattle, Ichiro Suzuki. The right fielder. Ichiro Suzuki. Martinez back to work and that's through there for a strike liner base hit so a man on base to start the inning Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. So, man aboard, and next will be the cleanup hitter, Eugenio Suarez. And that's in there for strike one. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And one away. Well, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and you're just hoping that somehow some way it'll click and he can get out of this as quickly as possible now here is ty france first pitch doesn't find the zone at the belt and fires Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. And the pitch. That one off the mark. Ball three. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Here's a 3-0. That one finds the zone. And now three and one. Lifted in the air, right center field. Walker on his way over. Pulls it in on the run. And there's two down. So two down now, and here is Jesse Winker. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Martinez checks over to first, and he's back. Well, at least you got the pitcher thinking a little bit. You don't want to run yourself out of the ball game. You get thrown out or picked off, it's over. He swings and fouls one off. The pitch. And a pop up right side, foul territory. And it's just foul. Just one strike away. 
And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start, who knew? He'd throw a complete game and get the victory. But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there, but ultimately it was an outstanding outing. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire front, John Chompy saying so long. Dodging this God in the bed. Collect calls to my mama, my father, his kids. Cause that kind of time to do it's much harder to give. Seen a fatherless kid, his eyes wider than mine. By the look of his Jordans, he was barely getting by. I asked, Where you wanna be when you turn 25? He turned around, looked up at me, and told me you're alive. Resonated at the time, it had me in doubt. I must have seen was all I had when taking this route.